Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about the um, table view and the stretchy header. And so far we've got our table view working, we've created some space at the top for the stretchy header. Now we just need to put an image up there, okay? So to start this, what I think we'll do is we'll just build the image in code, okay? Um, and then I'll do one in storyboard and maybe we'll use some constraints, okay? But just so, you know, just so we can get an idea of different ways to approach this, let's do the first one in code. So I'm going to switch back to my view controller and I'll need to add a variable for our, our stretchy header and I'm going to use an image view for that. So I'll call it image view and I'll set it, I'm going to make a new variable here, var image view. Actually we could use a let here, I'll do let image view equal um, UI image view. Okay, and we'll just make a brand new one. Okay, so we're going to have to set um, all the properties for this to make it display correctly on the screen, right? But this will just create a new image view, okay? That, that'll, or a new instance of image view. Okay, so let's go back to view did load and let's do a little refactoring here, right? So we've set up the table view here and this is all the code for setting up table view, right? So why don't we go down a little ways further and right after did receive memory warning but before um, number of rows in section, we'll make a function here called setup table view, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this section here that says table view, data source, and delegate, and content in, or table view content inset. So I'll just cut that and I'll paste it here inside our new function. And then right where we had that stuff before in view did load, we'll say setup table view. Okay, and then now let's make a new function called setup image view, right? And this function doesn't exist yet, so I'll just copy this right here, and then we'll scroll down a little further to right underneath the setup table view, and we'll say func setup image view. Okay, so there's our image view there. So, so how do we get the image view to work, right? Well, first of all, we need to actually um, uh, uh, add it to the current view. So just because we made the image view here doesn't mean it's displayed. It actu actually has to be the child of another view that is in the display list or is being currently displayed by the computer, right? So right now our view controller is, is displaying um, a view on the screen. So every view controller has a view that represents the, the objects that the view controller is, is displaying. And this view image view here needs to be a child of that view. So what we'll do is we'll go down here to set up image view and we'll say view.add subview image view, right? So we're going to add image view as a subview of our current view controller view, which is view, okay? So there we go. So now that now we should be able to see it. Actually, we won't be able to see it yet because we're going to have to give it a size, a height, width, and a location. And we'll also have to give it an image to display, right? So um, let's get the size first. So um, we use 200 as our offset. So that's going to be the, the height of this image view, okay? And then the width is going to be the width of the screen. So why don't we do this? Why don't we say um, let rectangle equal, and we're going to use a frame for this. You can watch one of my other videos. I have another video all about frames bound and center and um, CG point and um, CG rectangle, right? So you can go check those out um, for some review on this. Um, but we're going to make a frame here. A frame describes the X, the Y, the width and the height. So essentially a frame can define a rectangle on the screen. So we'll say let this equal CG rect and we'll choose this one here that's got X and Y. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the X to 0. So X of 0 is all the way on the left edge of the screen. Okay, We're going to set Y of 0. So Y of 0 is the very top edge of the screen. So this should locate the upper left corner of our image in the upper left corner of the screen, okay? Now the width needs to be the width of the screen. So we don't know how big that is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in width is gonna be view 
dot bounds dot width. Okay, and then the height here is going to be the height of the space that we we used in the in the content inset, which is two hundred. So we can just type in two hundred here. You know, we could refactor this later and maybe use a variable for this, right? That might help us out. <clears throat> so anyway, so there's our there's our 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 rectangle, right? So why don't we do this now? Let's say image view dot frame equals this rectangle that we've defined. Okay, so we've got that. So now we just need to display an image. So let's go get an image to display. I have um, an image over here. I'm going to use these flowers right now. So I'm just going to drag the flowers into my Xcode project like that. And then it should give me this option here that says choose options for adding these files, right? And we want to make sure that we've got um, copy items if needed checked and add to targets checked, right? So those two should be checked. And then I'll click finish. And there's my image, right? It looks like this. Okay. So let's go back to view controller there. And what we're going to do is we're going to say image view dot image, right? And this needs to be a UI image. So we'll have to make a UI image, oops, a UI image, and we can make an image from, and there's a choice here for a named image. So if you've added an image to your project here, if it has a name, you can use the name here, right? So what we'll do is we'll say uh, flowers.png, and actually if it's a PNG, you don't even have to include the PNG, okay? So let's give that a try. Let's see what it looks like. And so this is actually going to have a couple issues with it, right, that we're going to fix. Hey, there's our image, right? So that actually looks pretty good, right? Um, now, it's working really good because this image is actually the right proportion to fit the screen there, okay? You might use an image, and it might be distorted, and when... When it's distorted, that's because of the, the content mode for the image view. So what we want to do, and it's this is actually going to affect us later when we stretch the image view. So what we want to do is we want to set image view content mode. And what we want to do is we want the content mode here to be um, aspect fill. So this will force the image to fill the space, even though some of it might bleed off the edges. Okay? So we'll set that. And then the other thing is the image can bleed outside the area of this frame. So if your image has a different proportion than this frame, it'll hang out outside of that frame. And that'll actually cause problems because it'll cover more area than it should. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another option here. We're going to say image view dot clips to bounds. And what this means is that we're going to mask the image to the size of the, the view rectangle or frame of the image view. Okay, so we'll say clip to bounds equals true. Okay, so now we're set up pretty good. All right, let's give that a quick test here. Nice, right? And then when we scroll, there we go. So now our next goal in the next video will be to get the image to stretch and, you know, resize itself as we drag down further and then as we drag up here, it should size itself smaller until it hits a minimum size that we set. Okay? So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that that's interesting for you and helpful.